Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and in this video I will be introducing you to the Stereo Delay plugin and the Haas effect. Stereo Delay plugins can be great tools to add a little extra stereo information to your track. The technique I will be focusing on in this video is called the Haas effect, or the precedence effect. And this happens when you take a mono sound and delay one of the channels, either the left or the right, by a very short amount of time. And doing this adds a stereo image to the sound, which was previously mono. There are a number of different ways to do this, but in this video I will explain how you can do it using a basic delay plugin, which is the Fruity Delay 2. You should be able to transfer this into the delay plugin that you use. So here's my delay plugin. And the first thing you want to do is turn the feedback all the way down so that you hear only two hits. And you want to make sure that the second hit is the same loudness as the first hit. So you can see I'm peaking at minus three with the dry signal. And if I mute that dry signal real quick, we'll see that the wet signal also peaks at minus three. So by default, the Fruity Delay 2 will provide an even loudness between those two hits. After that, you want to pan your sound either completely left or completely right. So I'm going to do that on the channel itself. You may be able to do that in the delay plugin you use, but with the Fruity Delay, I'm going to pan the channel 100% left. So now you can hear the dry signal and the delayed signal both in the left channel. And what I want to do is invert the panning of the feedback. And now you'll hear that the dry signal is in the left and the wet signal is in the right. Right now you can very clearly hear the difference between the hits. So now you want to adjust the time until it no longer sounds like you have two separate hits. And then from there you can kind of adjust it to whatever sounds right to you. A common guideline for the time of the delay is about 45 milliseconds or under, depending on who you ask. So if you have a delay that lets you set the value in milliseconds, you'll know that you probably want it to be under 45 milliseconds. But the delay time you actually choose will be entirely up to you. So as you can hear, this is a great technique to use if you want to add some stereo depth to a mono sound without changing its character. You should be aware that this will often result in phasing issues when played back in mono. There will be more information about mono compatibility later in this part of the tutorial series to help you decide whether this is a problem or not. I will also be introducing you to another plugin that can create the Haas effect more easily in FL Studio, as well as a similar technique that I prefer to use whenever possible. 